What's going on everybody? All right, first thing first, go check out S-Tech Switch Systems. I'll link them in the description below. Uh, that's where I got this at. They were nice enough to send me a shirt um, and uh, I want to give them a shout out. So I'll link them in the description below if you'd like to pick this up or if you want some kind of switches or something like that uh, for your Jeep or other vehicle, they sell a lot of switches for um, light accessories and stuff like that. But today what we're gonna be doing is installing uh, this Team Off-Road Tech uh, holster in the Jeep. Now, what this is, it actually just mounts on the side of your seat or like underneath the bolts of your seat right here. And it kind of angles the holster uh, back up towards you. That way when you get in the vehicle, the holster's not, you know, or the pew pew's not poking you in the side or anything like that. Uh, that is going to be awesome because I've been carrying one of those for about 20 years or a little more now. And uh, I always try to stage it somewhere in the vehicle. And sometimes it's not as accessible as others and stuff like that. So uh, this is gonna make it very accessible. It's gonna be in a draw stroke position and uh, it should work out pretty nice. Now what they send you is this uh, UTG holster. Um, I've never been a big fan of these. There is a strap in here that has like a thumb brake on it, stuff like that. If I was going to use this, I probably wouldn't use the thumb brake for me. Uh, but in a rollover situation, the thumb brake is probably better and it does have like a little mag pouch right here or something. Uh, but you know me and uh, I'm going to make this thing my own and, and modify it the way I want to. So I reached out to my good friends at Tuxton Tactical and uh, uh, they sent me this which is a holster uh, specifically for what I wanted. It was a Glock 19 with a TLR7 a lot of availability. Now I did go ahead and put some Velcro here. Uh, this does come with Velcro, but I've actually already cut it and put it on this holster. I put Velcro on the inside because it will mount something like this right here. Now that's not the only way that I am gonna mount this holster. I am actually gonna drill holes in the metal on the backside that coincide with these holes right here. And I'm actually gonna screw it in. I'm only gonna use two screws that should be enough to hold it in. Uh, plus the Velcro will kind of hold the top. So uh, that's how I'm going to fix it to this metal bar because I knew that the Velcro would not be enough. It, it will just pull off, even though this is very strong Velcro, it would just pull off. So I'll throw two screws in the, probably in the middle holes right here. And that should uh, definitely be enough to hold it exactly where I want it. But you can see right here, uh, when it's mounted, you can see the holster kind of uh, turns back towards you. Uh, not saying that you can't make this work, uh, but I prefer to have one specifically for my pew pew. And uh, you can't really talk about pew pews on YouTube now. You have to you know, say that this isn't about such and such a thing before you can monetize it. So that's why I keep calling them pew pews instead of anything else. Uh, so the video doesn't get demonetized. But um, I found that the TLR7 holster actually uh, works with a lot of different, uh, different models and stuff like that. So this is just a good all around that I can use if I'm carrying something other than what this is specifically designed for. I'm not saying you should do that. They don't all fit as snugly as this does. Uh, so if you had a rollover, they could come out. Uh, but uh, I've found that these actually um, seem to hold more options. Uh, so uh, I would, like I said, Tux and Tactical was nice enough to send me this holster. And uh, that's what, how we're gonna mount it right now. Now, the first thing that I need to do is actually, let me turn the camera down. All right, the first thing I need to do is actually mark these holes where I need to drill. So I'm gonna have to take these screws out right here. And that's just what holds the, uh, the holster together. So we're just gonna take these screws out right here, like so. And I'll show you why I put the uh, Velcro on it here in just a minute. I do have a reason I went ahead and did that. There are a couple of rubber pieces on the inside there that you'll also want to retain. And now I want to line this up exactly where I want it. I'm just going to push it down right there. And that looks pretty good to me. Doesn't really look like anything would get in the way. Let's try it about right there. There we go. Doesn't really look like anything's in the way there. And this Velcro, I'm hoping, holds it 
while I try to pry this open and mark these holes with a silver Sharpie. Okay, let's see if we can do this now. All right, so that looks, let me see if I got this straight. I wanna get it as straight as I possibly can, but the Velcro ain't gonna hold it perfect. So you wanna get it as straight as you can, lift this up, kinda of go in there like that, mark that hole, mark that hole. Okay, let's see if we got it marked. And there should be where we need to drill. So we should be good with that. So I can't put this back together yet because I'll still need it apart to uh, put the screws in right there. And I do have extra screws just where I've had so many holsters. I do have extra screws to actually uh, install this to this metal bar. So what we're gonna be doing now is uh, going downstairs, uh, hooking this up in a little vise that I bought. I bought it from Lowe's, it wasn't crazy expensive, but I needed something to be able to hold this still uh, while I actually drilled it. So I bought a little vise, we're gonna go downstairs, I set that vise up and uh, get this thing drilled out and then we should be good to go. Okay, so here's what we got. I got this little vise. I didn't have anywhere good to put it. So I had this little stand that I actually made to um, put my front load washer and dryer on it whenever I had it. So I just screwed this down to that. And then I had a couple of little blocks of wood I come off to stick underneath this to hold it up off of it. And I'm gonna start out with a 3 8 bit. And uh, what I'm trying to fit in here, I believe is this little piece right here. And it looks like it's about the same. So we're just gonna drill these holes out and uh, see if that works. I do want to say that I did put a piece of tape over the Velcro because I knew if I didn't, that um, metal shavings would be all in it. Now, that size hole didn't work, so we're going to go up to a 732nd. I wasn't sure what size I needed, uh, but that one wasn't it. So we're going to go up one more size, and we'll keep stepping it up until we get there. All right, let's see what we got. That fits perfect. So let's go ahead and drill out the other one and we should be good to go. Oh, it slipped on me a little bit. Once you get that pilot hole done, you're in good shape though. And uh, right there you have it. Should be left with those two holes. So let's take you back upstairs and uh, put the holster on here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have to put this on the outside right like that right there and then the screw is actually going to have to go on the inside of the holster now there is a little washer right here that's indented uh, if i can get one handed it's wanting to be a fit but it is kind of indented like that right there and then there is a little rubber washer that actually holds tension on this right here. Now, I don't know if I really need that rubber washer or not. It may actually work better with it just to help from sucking it through the hole. But I want that as flat as it can possibly be in there. So I may actually not even use either one of those and just use the actual screw itself. If I can get it started now. These holsters are pretty snug. All right, the best way to get that, stick the screw through the hole and then screw this end into the screw. That's just the easiest way I see to do it. All right, so I wind up putting that rubber washer in between the holster and this arm. It's gonna help it not to move, but I'm still gonna put some blue Loctite on this. So I'll be back just a second. I'm just gonna put the Loctite down inside this piece right here. Like that right there. Then we'll wipe it off because it went everywhere.
we'll go ahead and screw this back down. That way the blue Loctite is getting all over the threads. And before I screw it all the way down, I'm actually going to do the other side as well. And just finish tightening it down. You're gonna have to pull this open pretty far to tighten these down. There we go. And it ain't going nowhere. That thing is on there. Now all we have to do is uh, reassemble the uh, holster part and we should be good to install it in the Jeep. And I'll adjust this after I get it all put back together. I'll adjust it how tight I want it. Um, but there should be the finished product other than installing it and we're fixing to do that right now. Okay, so this is probably gonna be extremely hard to see while I'm doing it, but I'm gonna take out this seat bolt and then right back in there, you can see a hole right there where that light's shining. They send you a couple of, or not a couple, but a screw with a couple of washers or a bolt with a couple of washers and a nut. And that actually screws into that hole right there. So once I get this all installed, um, I will show you the finished product. And you can have this box in here and install this holster at the same time. That is possible. So I'll show you uh, how this can go together. Okay, so here's the finished product. I do want to say that bolt back there is a pain in the hind end to put in because it's very tight space. And this one you can't get a wrench on because of this bar right here. So you have to screw it down with either a ratchet wrench, which I didn't have an 18 millimeter ratchet wrench or a boxed in wrench, which is what I had to use. Now I also want to show you that when I first put in, this was pushed way over and it actually got in the way of moving the lever, uh, the handle would hit. I can't show you, you know, it in there because of YouTube rules, but the handle stuck over so far, it was actually hitting the shifter. So what I did was I just grabbed a hold of it and bent it back. You can bend this, uh, use the metal, not the holster, but you can bend it and now it doesn't get in the way of anything and uh, your finger doesn't get hit by the plastic when you reach down to down to draw it or anything like that. So uh, if, it, if it looks like it's over too far, you can actually just bend that back and you'll be okay. But that's the install and uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt. Once I started putting in the screws, it probably took me 30, 40 minutes to get all them in there just cause it's so hard to get to. And I had to take out that box. I couldn't put it in with the box in. So I'd take out the box, put that in and then reinstall the box. It's kind of a pain in the butt, just a heads up. Okay, again, so there it is. Uh, that's how you install it. That's how I customized mine. And that's your Team Tech Tactical um, Jeep Wrangler JK holster mount or um, pew pew mount, I guess it is. It, it's a holster mount, really, I guess. But um, that's it. That, that's all there is to it. And the hardest part was actually installing it. If you don't have a lock box, it's a whole lot easier. And after I took it out, it was a little bit easier, but it was still a pain to get to some of the bolts. Like I said, uh, check out S-Tech Switch Systems. Uh, that's where I ordered mine from. I'll link them in the description below and you can go pick one up if you'd like to. Also check out Tuxton Tactical who supplied the holster. Thank you very much for that. And I'll also link them below. Uh, go check those out, them guys out. The, they are my recommended holster source. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.